Hello everyone, glad you could join me today. Uh, we're going to be looking at my Cape Oak trees. The last time we looked at them and did some work on them was back in July and they have done some growing since then, like the group planting beside me. Just in the last month and a half they've grown about an inch and a half and they're now touching my lights. So I think we're going to start with my group planting. Okay, so as I was saying before, you can see how this one is touching my lights now. Uh, when I brought them inside about a month and a half ago now, they were probably only about maybe up to here, so about a good couple inches, almost three inches from my lights at that time. But now they're literally touching my lights, so we're going to be doing some work with these. We're actually going to be taking them away back. It's my largest cape oak tree. I just got done removing a lot of scale insects from them. You can see the sap on the, the leaves that remain from them. So I spent a while getting them all off. And then I even sprayed the trees with uh, dish soap and water after I was done. So this was a few days ago now and they're looking great now. It doesn't look like there's any more scale insect on them. This is my tallest one that we're looking at right now. This one has a nice branch about halfway up the uh, trunk. Uh, I'm hoping it keeps it keeps growing and I can develop another branch here because at some point I would like to cut this back and it'd be nice to cut it back to that branch that's about halfway up the trunk now. But for now I'm growing it out and I want to try and get that trunk really thick. So we won't be uh, working on my large one. And down here, I have a couple more. And these are kind of about the same size that are in the group planting, just a little bit bigger. You can see this one here has a has a larger trunk. And we're also going to be cutting this one back today. And we'll take a look at the other one also. Okay. But we'll first have a look at the, uh, the group planting here. Okay, so we have it out here on our table. You can see how the tallest one there at the back, it's gotten quite tall. And even the little ones out the front have put on some growth since last July. Last July this one here I I did a trunk chop down to here so it's growing some new shoots. Also with this one over here I cut it off up here. We got some new growth all up near the top. So it's come back quite well. Well I think the first thing we'll do is I'll uh, take care of some of these weeds that have come in here. Okay, so we're looking a lot better down here. Now as we come up here into the canopy of our small trees, I think on this one over here, I'm going to take this further back than what I did the last time. We're going to take it right back to here. And we'll just leave these two smaller branches near the bottom here. Okay, so we're just going to come in and cut it right down here, just above this lower branch here. So 
So you can see how close I've cut it to this lower branch here. Um, normally I would leave a little bit on here to accommodate for possible dieback. But with these K-Poke trees, I've made a number of cuts now and uh, they seem to heal over right where I make the cut, which is good so far. So here I brought it right down to this to this one branch here just above it and um, it should heal over nicely just above it here. So I don't think I'm going to get any dye back. Okay now if we come up here and look at our third tallest one this one still has probably about a good 10 to 12 inches before it would be touching the light itself but uh, you know so it can do some more growing but we're just going to go ahead and take this away back for now we're going to take it all the way back to here And our tallest one, which is the one that was growing right up against the light, we're going to bring this one away back. So it's going to become actually our third tallest tree in this group planting. So the one that we just cut back a little bit back here is going to become our taller tree. Um, Back in July, I cut it back to here, and uh, it didn't get a chance to grow a lot. I think it's because I had some, I had some raccoons in my yard, and uh, they kind of grew up behind my shed this summer. <laughs> and at nighttime, they would come out and get quite playful, and they started to tip over some of my trees, and uh, this was one of them. So I had to do a repot, and while I was at it, um, it was raining out that day, but I had to get it done. So I also worked on, on the roots a little bit. So that kind, of, uh, that kind of put the growth back out on the canopies, which is okay. The good thing is, is that uh, obviously my, my roots came back, and then you know we had some growth coming back up on the top, which is great. So that means... You know they've come back so so when I did cut that off up here back here where this other cut was made I ended up getting a small branch from here so this cut I believe was made about probably about a year ago now You can see here where the first cut was made it was down here. The second cut was here and the third cut was up here near the top. So we're going to come back down where the second cut was made, which I believe I believe it was about a year ago. So we're going to bring it all the way back here and uh we're going to allow this to to take off and grow. So we're going to make a flush cut with the trunk. There it is. There we are. So this is our new leader here now. And this becomes our third tallest tree now with this last one that we just cut back here being the tallest. And this other one here, I wasn't going to do anything to it, but I think what we're going to do is we're just going to nip the top off here. where it was cut back in July and uh, yeah we're gonna go with that 
So we've got some, some new growth on the sides here. Okay. And we'll look at some more. Okay, so we're going to dig these ones out next. That are in the corner here. On the floor. Okay, so here we are. You can see it a lot better now that we have it up on the table here. Um, the one thing that's changing quite quickly with this one, this one in particular, uh, the trunk's really thickening up on it quite faster than the other ones. I'm not too sure why, but it is. It's a good thing. <laughs> um, we're even developing like a, a bit of a scaly like bark on the trunk now which is really good the trunk starting to harden off a lot more than what it was before you can see up here where it's a little little greener I'm not too sure if you can see that the way the lighting is yeah and then as we go down near the bottom here it, it thickens up further So yeah, it's doing well. Um, this is also one of the ones that I had to repot as the coons got into this one also. So I did do some root work on it and uh, repotted it in this slightly larger plastic pot. So yeah, that uh, the trunk is starting to develop pretty good. And as we get up here into the canopy uh, things are growing really well. This is where I cut it off up here back in July. And uh, then we had a new leader come out here and take over. I think eventually what I would like to see once we thicken up this trunk a lot further than what it is, is I'd like to bring it back to this first lower branch here. So I'd be cutting off the whole top basically. But I think for now we're going to leave things the way they are. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna bring this back a lot further than what it is right now. There we go. So we brought it back to about the same spot as I cut it off back in July, just a little bit lower. So we're gonna leave it like that, and then we're gonna bring this branch away back to here and we're gonna leave things the way they are okay well here's the last one and uh, like just the other one we were looking at this one was the same thing I had to repot it I put it into a little bit of a larger pot I did some root work to it And uh, it hasn't grown a whole lot up on the canopy since I last cut it back, about July. But it has a little bit. Um, when I did cut this off, there was none of this growth was on the upper trunk here. Um, more of the growth was up here further. So when I cut it off, we got more growth come out down further. And what we're going to do today is we're just going to bring it back down to this uh, second branch from the top here that's growing out. There we go. And uh, that's pretty much it for now. We're going to let that grow out. And when this grows a little bit taller, we'll decide then what we'll end up doing. Because uh, these also, these other side branches will also get get larger. So we may even take it back to one of these. We'll see at that time. So this is a smaller tree than the last one that we looked at. The trunk on this one has also gotten a little bit larger because this was quite a small cutting a year ago when we started it. And uh, yeah, we're also getting 
getting some uh, bark on the bottom here. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, we're just going to work at thickening up that trunk now over the next few to a number of years. Okay, well, that's it for now for the Cape Hawk trees. I'll definitely be back with an update and uh, show you guys how they're coming back. Well, that's it for today, guys. Have a great day.